Okay, so I recently updated the game to allow Glaze to bounce off of angled surfaces. And this has been a lot of fun. But the other day I noticed a side effect of this new feature and I wanted to talk about uh, how I dealt with that. Basically, the side effect is Glaze can bounce off of the tips of corners now. And I don't really like that. Once you hit a corner, it sends you off in a seemingly random direction. Um, and it's one of those things that's hard to do intentionally, but it's easy to do by accident. So I didn't really feel like it worked gameplay wise. The thing is, it's working as designed. It's not like it's a bug. For physical calculations, Glaze is represented by a circle. And when that circle hits a corner, it's gonna bounce off in kind of a weird direction. It's like throwing a ball and hitting a pole the ball could bounce left, right, straight back at you. You're not really sure because it happens so fast. So I want to have a special case situation set up here. I want it so if you're falling and you hit a corner, instead of bouncing left or right, I want you to bounce straight up, just as if you've hit the flat part of the surface. And the same if you're moving up, I want you to bounce straight down. So. To do this, we first have to detect if the player hits a corner before we can actually engage our special case. So here's how I did that. Here's a corner we want to test. Here's Glace moving downward and colliding with the tip of the corner. This red arrow shows the collision normal, which always points outward from the point of collision. The collision normal is important because we can use it to construct a test that will confirm whether or not this really is a corner. To do the test, we first establish a position in the center of the circle. Next, we establish two more positions on either side of the central one, choosing a direction perpendicular to the collision normal. We use these two outer positions as the origin for two corresponding ray casts. The ray casts point in the opposite direction of the collision normal. These ray casts will give you two more normals, A and B. You can take the angle between A and B to determine whether or not Glace hit a corner. If the angle is close to 90 degrees, then we've hit a 90 degree corner. Instead, if A and B point in the same direction, that means that we've hit a flat surface, it's not a corner. And in that case, when we test the angle between A and B, we'll get zero or something close to zero. Now, we can have different kinds of corners different angles of corners. We can have sharper corners or wider corners, and those will just give us numbers that will be around 90 degrees. So for a sharper corner, it'll be above 90 degrees. Um, maybe for a flatter corner, it can be around 45 degrees. Um, but we get to decide what we consider corners and what we don't. Once we've determined that we've hit a corner, the next step is to choose which side to bounce off of. That can be either side A or side B. To do that, we take the inverse velocity that we were going when we hit the corner, and we test that individually against side A and side B and see which of those directions are closer together. And we just do that with a simple dot product between the vectors. Whichever one is closest to one is the side that we should bounce off of. And that's it. Now we can treat corners as a special case and we don't have to worry about flying off in weird directions when we're bouncing through a level. I want to say thank you to my wonderful patrons who helped make this game possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon.